Hi everyone, my name is Roshni. Welcome back to my channel dedicated to talking about mental health and building self-worth. This weekend I wanted to do a vlog about my weekend self-care routine, so let's get to it. So my hair was feeling kind of dry and brittle and I really wanted to make a DIY mask. So I decided to mix together some coconut oil and some of this pure argan oil that I have um, and just go ahead and put it in through my ends. So I just popped on an episode of Sex in the City and started working it through my ends and all the way up to my scalp. I try not to put the actual oil in my scalp, um, but what I do when I get to the end and when I run out of oil is I just uh, massage my scalp. So this actually really, really helps. I get all the way down to my neck and relieve a lot of the tension there. And then otherwise it's just good for circulation and good uh, for new hair growth. So I love doing this um, every weekend or a couple times a month if I can. Coconut oil always works in my hair. It makes me feel so good and so moisturized. So I always recommend this, especially in the dead of winter. Like this gives me a whole new life and gives my hair a completely new amount of body and volume. So I always recommend doing this. Another huge tip I have is actually just making the basic things that you have to do a lot better. So for example, with just a normal shower, I put on some scented candles, I really put on like some ambient lighting, I grab an audiobook. Um, this week I'm actually listening to Diane von Furstenberg's autobiography. Sorry, that was so hard to say, uh, but it's been really, really interesting um, and I love just getting inspired when I'm in the shower. Um, and then I am dry brushing here. So this is actually also really good for your circulation and obviously exfoliates your body and then it also helps drain the lymph from your body as well and other than that I just try to take this time to make the time that I'd already be using to go in the shower uh, just a little bit more relaxing and then when I get out I do the same thing with my moisturizing routine and then another tip I have for this as well is I try to use something seasonal so this is a lavender and mountain honey lotion and I love this moisturizer Using something that's seasonal is really nice for me because it makes it feel like it's kind of a treat and something a little bit more special. Having like a special version of the little basic things that you would do anyway is a huge way to feel that form of self-care without taking too much extra time or money. I also wanted to make the skin part of this video a little bit different than just regular skincare, but if you do want to know about my skincare routine, I'd love to cover it. Just let me know and I'd make another video about it. The last thing that I do that's a little bit different for my skin is that I make a foot bath. So I actually found this uh, recipe on Pinterest and I tried it and I fell in love with it. It really just helps like wipe all the dead skin cells off of your feet and it's amazing to do in the winter, especially when I live in Colorado so I'm not really around like the ocean, it's really dry out here so having this feels like having a little mini hot springs in my apartment. And then I also at the end go over it with a little bit of pure vitamin E oil. I just grab that, moisturize it right in. love giving myself a little manicure, nothing crazy. Um, I don't like to have my nails super long and I don't really care for nail art that much. As soon as I sat down, I realized I was out of nail polish remover. So I went to my car and grabbed a rubbing alcohol because it said you could use that online, but that didn't work either. So then I went back and I soaked my hands in cold water for a little while and then used lemon juice and that actually seemed to work. So if you were wondering, uh, lemon juice is a great DIY nail remover. So there's nothing too interesting about this. I just love feeling put together for my whole week and having like a nice fresh manicure even if I don't paint my nails and just make sure I trim them up and make sure my hands look neat just makes a huge difference in my week and makes all my outfits feel that much better too.
I don't always get time to do yoga during the week, so when I have a chance to do it on the weekend, I definitely take advantage. It's a really great practice, but something that I also wanted to say is that weekends used to be a huge time for me to party and socialize and hang out with all my friends, and that's always great. There's nothing wrong with that, but I just didn't realize how different weekends could be when I wasn't spending like every weekend day just like hungover and feeling sluggish and then only living life during the nighttime. Um, so ever since I kind of started this self-help journey and all of that, I've really started to transform how I use my time for weekends and I didn't even realize how much more productive I could be um, just by using this time to take care of myself and put energy back into myself. And as crazy as our weeks get, you can normally find at least 20 minutes on a weekend day to just hang out and you know put a little time or energy back into yourself so I really hope that this video helps inspire you to come up with some ideas that you can use to you know pour back some time and energy into yourself without breaking the bank or taking an insane amount of time just having a different kind of weekend filled with like actually positive interactions and just giving back to my body makes me feel so much more rejuvenated for the next week whereas before when I was partying a lot more and just kind of living the college lifestyle like everyone around me was it was much harder to feel energized um, and ready for the next Monday so I just want to say if you're in the same boat and you're finding it hard to transition to having more chill weekends like just take your time with it, but honestly, you'll start to feel the benefits soon, and I know that self-care is really, really going to help you with that as well. The very last thing that I wanted to mention was recipes and cooking. So I love making one giant meal every single week, and that's kind of my half version of meal prepping, so it just leaves me with dinners for the next few days. And what I love about this is I try to do a new recipe every single week. So this is actually a recipe for sog paneer. Paneer is one of my favorite dishes in the world and I love this because um, I love cooking and it's just a great way for me to practice some of the art that I love and keep growing it without feeling like I have to take classes or sign up for anything fancy. And um, I just feel so accomplished after I've tried something new and made a new recipe and most of them turn out really, really well. So um, I just recommend to get out of your comfort zone in cooking if you're kind of finding yourself ordering the same things all the time try something new and try to do it yourself it makes it so much more of like a full 3d experience and then you feel way more accomplished when you finally enjoy it at the end I wanted to end my video here so thank you so much for watching if you like this new style of video and you want to see more please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and otherwise I will see you next week in my next video I love you all so much happy healing <laughs>